First guest tonight is a remarkably talented person with an Oscar, a Harvard diploma, and a hammer of Thor to show for it. Her latest highly acclaimed performance is in the movie May, December. It's on Netflix now. Please welcome Natalie Portman. <laughs> Great to see you and you Happy too. New Year and all that stuff. Do you actually have a hammer of Thor? I do. You do? I do. Um, they gave me kind of the memorabilia one that's no one's allowed to touch. And then I also have my stunt practice hammer, which gets gets more use. It gets use. What the kind kids, of use does it get? Well, my kids know <laughs> not to, like, try and harm with it, but I have to be careful when kids visit the house, because then... Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. It's 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 heavy. It can do damage. And can you, like, do this, and will it come to you? Or is that just in the movie? Naturally. How old are your kids now? I have a 6-year-old and a 12-year-old. Okay, so your kids are young for this type scenario. But maybe this will be good learning experience for you. I was thinking maybe we would play a round of Who's High. Would you like to... <laughs> Would you like to... Yes, I didn't know you were going there. I'm usually with... good at <laughs> it. Kids. I was not good at it w in the beginning. But, uh, yeah, well, with kids, you know, you got to watch them. I mean... It's it's a good skill to have as a parent. Yeah, I had a couple of ne'er-do-well children myself. They're adults now, and I'm just still learning all sorts of things they, they did. But let's take a look at uh, our... Hi, Lou. Lou, we're hey, on hey. TV. What's up? I said we're on TV. Oh, sick. <laughs> 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 Lou, Natalie Portman is out here with us. Hey, oh. everybody. Hey, Nat Natalie. Hi, um, and, and these are the, our pedestrians. Uh, well, introduce yourselves, folks. What, uh, first of all, is it Roizen? It is not. Oh. <laughs> it's Roisin. Roisin. Hello, yeah. Roisin. Say hello to Natalie Portman. Hi, hello. Hello, Natalie. Are you from elsewhere, nice Roisin? I'm from Ireland. Oh, uh, that makes sense. It's yes. Accent. Yeah. And Marcus, how are you? Hey, Jimmy. How you doing? Where are you from? I'm from L.A. Uh, would you like to say hello to Natalie Portman? Hey, Natalie. Hey, Marcus. <laughs> and finally, we have Savannah. Hello, Savannah. Hi, guys. Where are you from, Savannah? I'm from Nashville. You're from Nashville, OK. Na Savannah, what do you do for a living? I work in social media, so I make a lot of TikToks and Instagrams. Oh, for work, huh? Mm -hmm. And Marcus, you do the same? I'm a retired assistant principal slash teacher. Oh, wow. What subject? <laughs> what subject did you teach, Marcus? English and history. Oh, all right, great. And, and uh, Roisin, how about you? What do you do for work? I'm a makeup artist. You're a makeup artist. In Ireland, they have those, huh? We do, yeah, finally. <laughs> it's like they have everything we have They're over there. It's almost like a mirror image of us. <laughs> and Lou, what are you doing there? Uh, I'm uh, I'm the announcer. And... Oh, you're the announcer on the show. Yeah, okay, yeah. It... Don't you look kind of familiar? Yeah, Your when I remember, I'm also the guy who hosts the stuff on the <laughs> boulevard. Okay, so Natalie, I'm going to turn this over to you um, to ask some questions. You can ask any. I found that just asking about any hobbies or any of that kind of stuff will typically lead me in the right direction. Okay. Um, when did you last eat, and what was it that you ate? Oh. Now, they've been instructed not to reveal any... Oh, you mean food? Yes. Oh, I was thinking yes. gummies or no, something no, no, like no. that. Oh. <laughs> That's a, that is a really that good would, question. That would be... Uh, Roisin, you can start. Uh, What's the last meal you had? The last meal I had was Doritos. Okay. <laughs> See, now that's a good question. Margus? My last meal was raw almonds. Okay, very healthy. And Savannah? I had a sandwich. What kind of sandwich, <laughs> Savannah? A turkey sandwich. Uh-huh. With what on it? Mayonnaise and mustard. Okay. A little bit of tomato. All right. All right. Sounds like <laughs> somebody's mom made her lunch today. <laughs> um, I, I know what I'm thinking. Uh, it's a little, I mean, maybe a little... premature? Maybe it's a little premature. Well, we'll find out, I guess. <laughs> well, do you have a feeling, or do you want to ask more questions? Um... I have a feeling. Who, do you, who are you feeling like it is? I feel like it's Roisin. That's who I feel like it is. But let's go through their eyes first, because the eyes, again, will often <laughs> offer clues 
Okay. Now, Roisin, your eye, your pupils seem to be the opposite of dilated. Um, <laughs> like they're the smallest pupils I've ever seen. <laughs> Marcus, Marcus, you were a teacher for many years. Have you ever? You've had many pupils. Have you ever seen them that small? <laughs> no, never. Now let's get a look in Marcus's eyes here. Marcus. Uh huh. Now the thing about Marcus is the shirt, to me, says stoner, but the job says no. No way. Yeah. And finally, Savannah. Savannah, let's have a look at your eyes. <laughs> oh boy. Now I'm now I'm you know yeah. what? Now I'm thinking. I'm <laughs> I feel like I'm still gonna stick with Roisin because look, she didn't even know where the camera is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay, Roisin. It's you know, I was it'll told be done so in about four times. hours you'll be fine. <laughs> what do you think? I'm, I'm having some serious doubts. Yeah, me think, too. Yeah, Savannah's too. suspicious. She is. Yeah, the hat makes her a little extra suspicious. But the sandwich, what well, you know, I mean, mm. turkey, whatever. Very normal. Standard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I gotta go with Doritos if okay. I'm going. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do All it. All right. Okay. Roisin, are you high? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> well, then we got to go with our second choice, right? Uh, Savannah, yeah. are you high? Yeah, me. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, hard to laugh. <laughs> Savannah. <laughs> so, yes. Let's go back to Savannah there. <laughs> I couldn't hold Savannah it. Savannah is in. laughing much too hard. That's how you know. Marcus, did you get the sense that Savannah was high when we started this? Oh, yeah, I knew it. <laughs> School principal. We All should right. have asked well, him. let's take a break. And uh, well, thank you guys for playing Who's High. <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, thanks for having us. Natalie Portman is with us. We'll be right back. Thank you for having me. Yeah, you think it a home? Yeah. I, I already have an idea of what it must have felt like. What? What felt like? I was sneaking around with you. That is Natalie Portman and Charles Melton, part, the back of Charles Melton from in the movie May December, which you can see on Netflix right now. Uh, really, a uh, very entertaining movie. Thank Would you, you this character that you play? Obviously, it's a fictional character, and the story that this is based on is uh, eh, roughly based on, right? I mean, that's how it is. It's a true story, but this character, this actor that you play, is studying this family because she is going to play the, the mom in the family. Yes. Have you ever been in that situation before you've integrated yourself into somebody's personal life like that? No, I no. mean, not, not to the level of Elizabeth. Elizabeth is really does things that are ethically questionable. I have, I have not, um, but I have, of course, like in, interviewed people about their lives, trying to learn about, you know, what it's like to be a doctor. And their jobs like and that kind of Beekeeper, stuff. Beekeeper, yeah. Yeah, beekeeper, beekeeper. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what is it like to be a beekeeper? Seems terrible. You know, it's it's. You're it's, surrounded by bees all day. It's it's pretty meditative, I think. Is it? It seems yeah. It has a lot to do with breathing, and because apparently bees are attracted to carbon dioxide, so you have to like really watch your breath. Oh well, I'm going to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and this actor, you play this actor who's not a great actor, right? No. Nope. So when you are a great actor, which you are a great actor, is it? Fun to play somebody who's not a good actor? It takes it takes a lot of pressure off, of course. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, yeah. It, it's uh, and it's funny. It's fun to like kind of poke fun at yourself. I think there's yeah. a lot of making fun of actresses in this movie. Yeah, yeah. There is a, there is a bit of that in there. You um, were at the you were nominated for Golden Globe on Sunday night, and um, you met. I find this so hard to believe, I have to say. I think this is pretty crazy, but you met somebody that I can't believe you never met before. I know, I met Mark Hamill for my first time. Mark and he Hamill. called me his mother. He was like, oh, Luke Skywalker. the coolest thing. I think I have a photograph of it that meeting. Uh, look at this, there you are together. He posted this photograph. Yeah. Never run into him at any, any Star knew. Wars promotional things or anything like that, huh? Yeah, it was the first time we had ever met. I had met Carrie Fisher before. Luckily, she was such mm -hmm. an icon of mine, and um, and then this was my first time meeting Mark. 
How often do you meet somebody, an icon, that you have, I mean, you've been in the business since you were a kid. How often do you run into somebody that you'd not met before, somebody that you're excited about often. meeting? Often. I really? feel like often, yeah. I mean... Is it because you don't get out much? Yeah. <laughs> it's you, exactly it. Like, who is somebody that you've met recently that you'd never met before that you were very excited to meet? Um, at the Globes, also, I met Martin Short. That oh, I the oh, really? I lost my mind. Oh, yeah, yes. the best. My friend, my friend Jess and I were like, who was she was my date, and we were like stalking up behind him, like Mr. Short, Mr. Short, and yeah, that was so so exciting. And he's very rude, right? He uh, probably <laughs> ignored him. <laughs> he was delightful. What is like your uh, favorite Martin Short role or moment, or what do you? I think mean, Father was? of the Bride was I see, very that's... important. Gotcha. Growing up, because for me it's SCTV. I go back a, a longer way. But... I mean, he's he's great in everything he's ever done. Did you get a picture with him? Yes. You did. Okay. Yes. But Mark Hamill did not post that. No. No, he did not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's it. Boy, Martin Short's going to be so excited. You know, Robert Downey Jr. was here last night, and he had a similar story about Martin Short. Really? Yeah. Also? Yeah, he did. Well, Martin Short's really taken off. We got to book Martin Short. <laughs> yeah, next week, Jimmy. Yeah, get him on the phone, will you, Guillermo? I will, yeah. Next week. <laughs> well, it's great to see you here. Thank you for playing our, our game, and uh, congratulations on the movie. If you haven't seen it, it's called May, December. It is on Netflix now. Natalie Portman. We'll be right back with Christopher Stephanie. Thank you.